It's mine. It's mine. It's mine. It's mine. It's mine. So before we get a little bit too excited, let me walk you guys through how I got to feeling like this right now. Super, super hype. Guess who's moving today? Me! <laughs> Woo! Y'all don't even understand. No, but y'all do understand because y'all been following. I know I took a break. I know I took a break. But your girl is moving. <laughs> Woo! Y'all don't even understand. Y'all don't even understand, like, the joy that I'm gonna feel just being able to walk around my place naked, use the restroom whenever I want. You know, like, all of those beautiful things that you can do when you, um, let me fix my mirror. All of the beautiful things that you can do when it's your shit. <laughs> yeah, baby! Ooh, child, when I tell you, I'm gonna set foot in this apartment. And your girl is gonna say a prayer. I'm gonna sage that bad boy. I'm gonna set up my crystals, get that good energy going. And I'm gonna do the damn thing. Because guess what? It's, it's my side. <laughs> Woo. When I tell you, you never will take um, your privacy and your space for granted until you've had to humble yourself and make sacrifices and i've made a lot of sacrifices for the past two years um mentally physically spiritually everything and it's paying off so i'm so excited to see you hope you okay you'll see it um okay so my little cousin um dominique is going to be helping me so you guys will meet her today and she's gonna be in the vlog um all I can say is thank you to the Most High. Um, I receive all of these blessings in His name. Um, and I'm ready. So we're on the go. Y'all see I got plants and all types of stuff in here. I'm in love with this plant right here. Um, my co-worker, soon to be ex-co-worker, she's leaving me. She gave me her office plant and I always wanted a plant that had like vines and stuff. So, so I'm super excited to have plants in my house. I'm officially an old lady. I'm opting to have the plants over the cat. You know, some Spencer shit or whatever. But um, yeah, I'm gonna go pick up one of my TVs from storage because I need to have a TV available for when the Comcast man comes today. When I tell you literally nothing <laughs> could mess up this day. Nothing could mess up this day. Like, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Like, I don't even think it's hit me yet, but I know it's gonna hit me. This shit is hard. Moving all of this shit by myself. Um, just packing up this car, like, Granted, I did it in like 15 minutes or whatever, and I got like a little bit of my closet, my plants, I got my sage, um, I got my Bible in here, I'm afraid. What else? My mom said I could get like some paper towels and toilet tissue so you know you're gonna wreck that. Cause guess who trying not to buy done for at least a week? Me. I got the TV in. Honestly, I probably could have grabbed another box, but I don't want to overwhelm myself. So let's get on the road. Let's go get my keys. Woo! Okay, so I'm a little, I'm running a little bit behind. Dominique ended up saying to not come pick her up. So I ended up having to load the TV. Y'all know, like by myself. So that put me behind and then to come get my key i was intending on having her to like swap out and like get in the driver's seat so i wouldn't have to find a park but i had to find a park and now i'm about to go get my key so i'm running maybe like 15 20 minutes behind but today is still a good day so let's get it 
let's get this key. Back there's just for me. I bust up, walked up, let's get the I wanna get closer. I wanna get to know you. I hope you came here to shake your ass. This is what I made this song for. Let's get down, 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 down. You don't seem like the type to waste your time. Let's get lit in this bitch. 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 I take it down. Gazing all day, we raw, blazing thin, safety raw, blazing raw. Papers afterwards, we converse by moon and stars. Who we are, we don't want to think that hard. She living like a movie star, but she ain't no movie star. She flex, she ain't got no frost. Freak, she don't wear no drawers. Her team is me, myself, and I. See that side, I know she ball. Got a car, don't drive a car. That's what she got to drive a car. All men got all men got. That she knows she I wrong. wanna get closer. I wanna get to know you. I hope you came here to shake your ass. It's what I made this song for. Let's get down, 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 down. You don't seem like the type to waste your time. Let's get lit in this bitch. 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 I take it down, down. I wanna get to know you. I hope you came here to shake your ass. That's what I made this song for. Let's get down, 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 down. You don't seem like the type to waste your time. Let's get lit. I'm so excited. Um, this day has been coming for a very 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 long time let me turn the camera on so this day has been coming for a very 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 long time and i'm just really really happy that i was able to make it happen for myself um i didn't have to ask nobody for no money i didn't have to i did it all on my own and i'm just really really happy right now um because like i said until you have to make like just i mean sacrifices and choices that will completely humble you you probably have not you probably have forgotten how much um you know just having your own space means and i just feel really blessed and very very thankful um, to God for guiding me through the season in my life and I know that I'm on to bigger better things so it's moving day y'all this is day one of three I have the movers coming in on Thursday tomorrow is me and mommy just moving some stuff or whatever from her house to here um, like my other TV and stuff like that so <sighs> I think you're the shit, your friend. Honestly, you're the reason I So, my very first sit down entry with y'all. And where? Your girl apartment. <laughs> I'm just happy and I'm blessed and just Portland all up in here all up in here cuz what <laughs> is your girl apartment <gasps> if you have a goal that is in front of you and I know that this shit is gonna sound so cliche because I'm so inspired right now but to me it's better to share when you feel inspired and when you're in a good place, then when you have to force it. And I'm not forcing anything about this video at all. Like I am genuinely happy. I am elated. Um, I'm just proud of myself. And I think everybody needs that time, you know, in various seasons to 
just be proud of yourself like it's okay to pat yourself on the back as much as society says you know be humble yes be humble but understand that you did that shit like understand it like understand whatever your goal is you did that shit and i did that shit and i'm doing that shit and i'm gonna continue to do that and it's just amazing the things that i can accomplish on my own when i put my mind to it my friends know that when i want something i get the probably the best case i won't even say the worst case but the best case of fucking tunnel vision because when i tell you i see nothing other than that goal and my goal was to stack my bread find a alternate stream of revenue to be able to stack my bread to be able to pay my rent comfortably um because just to stay at my mom's because with my salary i can't afford rent that's not an option so i can't stunt my growth because of that what i can do and what i did was to you know take the responsibility into my own hands in doing what i need to do to make myself happy and what i knew what would make me happy is to have my own space and be able to come home to a place that is mine with my things um decorated the way that i want like just mine you know and i haven't had that in a while and it's something that when you get up and you go to work every day and you know that you're coming home to something that you work for, you know, it adds value to your life. And I'm just thankful for the value of hard work um, that I placed upon myself. I'm thankful for, you know, my family support. I'm thankful for my best friends, Ree, Alex. I'm thankful for Tiff who is basically my sister, you know, I really want to thank all of y'all for supporting me on the days where I can't answer my phone because I'm driving left or, you know, I'm just grinding. Y'all understand and y'all know how I am when it comes to a goal and I appreciate all the love and support that all of my friends and family have given me and continue to give me. As I sit and reflect, as I organize my belongings, I find myself thinking about like, what is next? What is my next adventure? Will it be the lifelong quest to secure a bag? Will I hit the dating scene with a vengeance? Or will I find my seat in a waiting room at an IVF clinic? Man, I don't even know. I have no clue what's next for me. But what I do know is the past two years of me starting over, moving home, living with my mom, surviving heartbreak, searching for a career that would bring me fulfillment, to re-entering the dating world, to being in the kiss and frog season, to my tunnel vision, I have stayed true to me. I'm thankful for this journey. I'm grateful for every moment that puts me to this level of independence. And I'm excited about day two, day three, and all of the days going forward. So go ahead, stay tuned. Make sure you continue to follow my journey. Up next on the Mona Lita. Mommy. Oh, hey. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what that I was taking pictures of the high-rises that I didn't know existed in the city. I know it.